Greetings, everyone. This is Terry Naturally with another edition of Terry Talks Nutrition. We're here every Saturday and Sunday morning from 8 o'clock until 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And we are here primarily for you. We like to do a lot of research, come up with ideas, scientifically studied ideas, evidence-based ideas, or studies, clinical work, that prove that you and I are as healthy as their lifestyle choices. So if we make bad choices on the food we eat, or the habits we have, or the choices that we have throughout the day as to our food choices, our levels of activity, what do we do to make ourselves healthy? The doctor doesn't make us healthy. The doctor doesn't know anything about health. Drug companies don't want us to be healthy because sick customers is how they make their money. So they're not going to tell us to be healthy or how to be healthy. Do you think the government cares? The government doesn't care if we're healthy or not. So who can make us healthy? It comes down to you and I. We are responsible for our health. You and I are the only ones that can improve our health because health is based on the choices we make every day. 98% of all diseases are caused by lifestyle choices. Most of the conditions that are being treated by drugs today are conditions that are developed from our lifestyle choices, bad lifestyle choices. And when we have a deficiency of nutrients, then we have a clue or a symptom that something is malfunctioning. If you have parts missing from your car engine, that engine is not going to work. And if we have vitamins and minerals that are missing from our diet based on the food choices we make or just because our food is not properly grown anymore and is sprayed heavily with pesticides, so we're not getting all the vitamins and minerals and nutrients that the body requires to maintain a healthy body. So it's up to us to adopt a program and that's why we're here to help you decide what kind of program, what kind of regimen, what kind of protocol that you can include in your choices and your family's choices. Know that America is sick. Absolutely sick. We are missing so many vitamins and minerals. Up to 50 to 90% of the nutrients that we definitely need every day to be healthy, we don't have. They're missing. So we don't have those. 90%, well, 50% of all Americans do not have enough vitamin D. And we know that vitamin D is one of the most key factors for preventing COVID-19 viral infection. 90% of all the black community is deficient in vitamin D. And we are deficient 50% in many of the minerals, vitamin A and vitamin C, zinc, selenium. Almost 2 billion people around the world are deficient in zinc and selenium. And they have been proven to actually stop COVID-19 and prevent a mutation of the virus. We need to make better, better choices. So that's why we're here. And you can get us here every Saturday and Sunday, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, locally in our broadcast range 
for our radio program. But you can also go to my website, terrytalksnutrition.com. There you can listen to our show on your computer anywhere around the world. We live stream the radio show locally broadcasted to the computer so you can listen live anywhere around the world. Unfortunately, you have to make changes in your time to be on the same time we are. But you can also go into the radio show section and pull up radio shows that have been archived there, stored there, and you can listen anytime you want at your convenience. Be up on the nutrition, because it's your health. Don't let your health deteriorate to such a degree that you can't get it back. The body is very forgiving. We can destroy our body to some degree over decades. And if we reversed our bad habits, in months we can have a better degree of health. But if you let it go so far that you have destroyed organs or glands or joints, you may not get them back. So start young. Don't wait until you're sick to get healthy. Stay healthy. That's how you prevent disease. That's how you prevent illnesses. That's how you have a stronger resistance against viral infections, bacterial infections, fungal infections. Healthy bodies. Right now, because so many people are sick with just a bad diet, sick from everything that's going around, that probably vaccines may be the only answer for some of these people. Because they're not going to change their diet. They're not going to get healthy. They're addicted to sugar. They're addicted to bad food. Almost 50% of all Americans are obese. That means grossly overweight. You look back at pictures in the 1970s. Wow. Nobody was overweight. They were healthy. We were healthy. Much, much healthier. Now, in 50 years, we have slid into the toilet. Unfortunately, bad, bad diets, packaged and processed foods, spraying chemicals everywhere. Drugs, drugs, drugs are the only answer for what they say to save your life. And maybe they will save your life. They're not going to provide health. So that's why we're here. I only want to help you Understand maybe more about what you can do to be healthy and not use drugs. I'm not saying go off your drugs. If you're on drugs, there may be a reason for that. And I don't want to interfere with a doctor's prescription. But you can use a healthy diet, a multivitamin and mineral supplements, and some of the natural medicines that have been proven to be more effective than drugs if you buy the high quality natural medicines, herbal medicines that have followed the protocol of the science that provides the information behind them of what they can do for us. And we're going to be talking about one of them today. One of my favorite herbs called Andrographis. That's A-N-D-R-O-G R-A-P-H-I-S Andrographis. It is one of the most powerful natural medicines to provide you with a tremendous amount of health. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about what exercises can you do? And then why you should not take aspirin. And (laughs) processed foods can damage your brain. Natural relief from clogged noses. Clogged noses. Can we have relief? Can we provide relief? A closer look at the B vitamins and more and more and more. We'll never run out of topics. 
There's a wealth of topics to keep healthy. So we're going to talk about Andographus. It is the king of bitters. It is the most bitter herb that I am aware of. And it does a wealth of health. Because it does it all. It's antibacterial. Kills bacteria throughout your body. Antiviral. Stops viral infection. Treats viral infection, bacterial infection, fungal infection. It protects the liver. 30 to 50 million people today have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It is so epidemic that drug companies are trying to find a drug to treat liver disease. They have not found one. Andographis is one that protects the liver and restores healthy tissue rather than the fatty infiltration of the liver. Where does all this fat come from in our liver? Our livers are about 4 to 5 pounds. In many people, it can be as much as 20 pounds. You know, if you're fat, that doesn't mean your body is fat. That means your organs are fat. And the liver is the one that is the most crucial. It does over 600 different body functions, and yet it is filled with fat and cannot work. What causes the, what causes the fat? Sugar and carbohydrates. It has replaced alcohol as a source of damage to the liver. Alcoholics had liver damage, cirrhosis of the liver, cancer of the liver. And now, sugar does the same thing to the liver that alcohol did. And more kids have liver damage because they eat the sugar and the carbohydrates. Years ago, they would not eat as much sugar or carbohydrates and did not drink alcohol. And 18% of all children are obese. So they have fatty liver disease. In children, how can we let this happen? We're a great nation. Well, we were a great nation. It seems like we're not as great as we used to be. That's a different subject. I'm not even going to touch that subject. But andrographis is also anti-cancer. In studies done with andrographis on cancerous tumors of the colon, they were able to reduce the size of cancerous tumors by 50% and in some cases up to as much as 60% in just 14 days. Then the researchers combined andrographis with melatonin for a nighttime dosage for the treatment of cancerous tumors. And this combination reduced the size of tumors by 90% in just 14 days. Then the same study was done with three different cancer drugs in separate studies, and the best they could do to reduce the cancerous tumors was 10% in 14 days. Also, endographis is immune-enhancing. If you have a compromised immune system based on smoking, stress, bad diet, our immune system needs nutrients, four vitamins, and two minerals to be effective. Are we getting all those nutrients? No, we're not. A huge population of people are not getting all the nutrients. Andrographis is also anti-inflammatory, anti-arthritic, 
anti-diarrhea, anti-diabetic, anti-hypertensive, which means lowers blood pressure. You wonder why I love andrographis? It's like a tune-up for your body. Cold and flu, as it is an antiviral, and cold and flus are caused by viruses, not bacteria. So andrographis does it all. It's a product that I would never, ever want to be without. But it's best known for its use for the immune system. Cold and flu prevention and treatment. With the right combination, you can knock out a cold and flu in about two to three days. It reduces the severity and the length of the cold substantially within two or three days. Most cold and flu will linger on five to ten days. So here's a clinical study. Andrographis relieved the intensity of the symptoms that are associated with cold and flu, like fatigue, sore throat, runny nose, sleeplessness in just two days. And most people that have these symptoms with a cold or a flu will be battling that, fighting that for maybe five, seven, ten days. By the fourth day, there was a significant decrease in all symptoms, including headache, earache, phlegm or mucus production, and the frequency and intensity of coughing attacks. In a study of 223 people with upper respiratory tract infections, what we see commonly in COVID-19, the andrographis group saw a dramatic decrease in cough, headache, sore throat, and disturbed sleep on day three. The placebo group had no improvement and some had their symptoms get worse. COVID-19. Some really good 20 or 30 studies were done with andrographis treating COVID-19. So immense amount of interest has been peaked in using andrographis for treating and preventing COVID-19. Primarily the research shows it is extremely effective at preventing the virus from attaching to cell receptor sites and blocking it from replicating and mutating. It's a part, in fact, there are several countries around the world that now recommend andrographis. Governments of these countries are recommending to keep their citizens safer and prevent the spread of the virus. They're recommending andrographis, such as Thailand, China. Yes, these countries understand how to keep their citizens healthier with natural medicines. So here are some up-and-coming uses for andrographis. Anti-cancer, powerful, up to 90%, that's 9-0, up to 90% inhibition of breast cancer cells without harming the normal cells. 40% reduction in tumor growth in an animal study of cancer of the esophagus showed a 60 to 90% inhibition of prostate cancer cells and up to 80% reduction in the ability of prostate cancer cells to spread to other organs and glands in the body. 
human trials, clinical trials, are now in progress to study andrographis effects on colon cancer. I understand from one university they have done two or three breakthrough colon cancer studies with andrographis and they're in the process of publishing, so I can't say much about it because you, you can't tell the outcome until they've been published in an acceptable journal. Also, extremely effective for bronchitis, tonsillitis, rheumatoid arthritis, MS, multiple sclerosis, and type 2 diabetes. These are all listed in the clinicaltrial.gov database. And there are many, many studies you can review at PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D, PubMed, which is a study, which is a website for listing all the studies on a variety of, of research. These are scientifically based information. Andrographis. Now, what should you be taking as a form of vanographis? Well, when they do research, even if, it, if the research was done on an animal, there is more to learn as how it affects humans based on some of the analytical studies. And also they are able to take the dosage that was used in an animal study, like a mouse or a rat, and then calculate that, what dosage would be used for a human. So what they found out was that for a human, the dosage was daily around 700 to 800 milligrams of andrographis that was standardized at a 20% standardization which would yield 80 milligrams of the andrographolides. The andrographolides are the key compounds that are found in andrographis. And it's used for arthritis pain, arthritic joint pain, cancer, cold and flu prevention and treatment, energy, mental function, Cancer, heart disease, liver disease, diabetes. This is like a pharmacy. This is not one molecule. This has hundreds if not thousands of molecules. A drug only has one molecule. That means it is only targeted at one pathway. Andrographis is targeted at thousands and thousands of pathways. I asked asked some of the top researchers today, that are doing research on botanicals like curcumin and boswellia and grapeseed extract. And they said they have never seen anything as effective and more powerful than andrographis. No doubt, hands down, the best to use. So if you want to learn more, I'll tell you what. Go to my website. Watch my discussion, my interview with Dr. Ajay Goyal a cancer researcher at City of Hope Cancer Center in California. So go to terrytalksnutrition.com and click on videos to listen to natural botanicals for cancer and cancer prevention. It's about 20 minutes long. I had an opportunity to sit and visit with Dr. Ajay Goyal and we did a joint interview on how natural medicines, natural botanicals, are now being more effective with less, less, less side effects than ever. Sometimes the treatment that is used medically, like chemotherapy, kills people before the cancer has has taken their lives. Unfortunately, drugs are so toxic to the body that some bodies just can't take it. So, andrographis should be at the top of your list for all these health reasons. 
Okay, now let, let's have a fitness check. Can you do these fitness exercises? Let's see what you can do. So here's some exercises that if you can't do these, you need to get better fitness suggestions to be in better fit shape. Here is the sit rising test. Sit down on the floor and get back up without using a hand, knee, or forearm for support. A lot of people have to push on a table or push on the arm of a chair or push on their knee to get up. Can you get up without using any hand, knee, or forearm for support? In a clinical trial, the people with the least ability on this test were five to six times more likely to die in the next six years. So while you're changing your healthy diet, start doing some exercises. And I would suggest that you read a book called Pain-Free. You can find it on Amazon. It's a great, great book on how to use exercises to become more fit based on posture therapy. You'll see amazing changes. You know, if, if you like to do things later in life and life has just gone down the tank but you love to hunt, you love to hike, you, you love to golf but you're almost ready to give up your game because you have so much pain and you don't have, you know, you don't have the mobility, you don't have the flexibility. Posture therapy can change your life. And pain-free is a book that explains how to become more fit. With that, my friends, I've got more to do on this fitness section, but I've got to take a break here. I'll come right back here in just a moment. Don't go away. This is Terry Naturally with Terry Talks Nutrition. And welcome back, my friends. We are in the last portion of our hour today. We'll be here to the top of the hour. We'll be here with more information on how you can get fit. Lose weight, folks. One of the things that's really holding you back, too, as well. Why do we get older and into the retirement age and we're almost shut down. We can't do the things we'd love to do. You know, I've seen people going on tours and I, I can't believe how they have the inability to keep up. So getting fit is just as important as eating the right food. But if you eat the right food, a low-carb diet is what I mostly refer to, and that is the ketogenic diet or the paleo diet which gives up all grains and flour from the grains. You can eat fruits and vegetables especially the low sugar fruit and you'll lose weight and you know what happens? You'll get much more muscle tone. You'll lose weight and you don't even have to try. Don't Measure, measure your portions. Don't count calories. Don't avoid fats. Eat fats. The more fats you eat, the more weight you'll lose. Boy, doesn't that sound like a, a crazy thought. It's true. What makes us fat is sugar and carbohydrates, which turn into fat in our body. It's a triglyceride type of fat. We don't want triglycerides. They damage more in our cardiovascular system, arteries and heart, than cholesterol would ever. Cholesterol is our friend. Triglycerides are your enemy. So let's do the push-up test. We're trying to get more fit. So let's do the push-up test. So if you're 45 years old, 
you should be able to do at least 14 to 16 push-ups in a row. If you're over 55, you should be able to do 10 or 12 push-ups in a row. In a study of middle-aged men, those who could do 40 plus consecutive push-ups were 96% less likely to experience heart disease. What can you do? Even if you start with doing three or four, just don't give up. Tip every day, do it. Then it'll be six, and then it'll be ten, then it'll be just get more fit. Fitness and the proper diet go together, like hand in hand. Then let's do the stair test. Boy, did I do the stair test. We went to uh, Athens, Greece a couple of weeks ago. We went to uh, Santorini, the island about an hour away from, from, uh, from Greece. And boy, you're either going down the stairs or you're coming up the stairs. But if you come up the stairs, you got to go down the stairs. And if you went down the stairs, you got to come back up the stairs. Boy, I'll tell you what. We climbed, we must have made miles, six, seven, eight miles a day. We were really on a stair test. One of the times we went to a restaurant back of the hotel, down to the edge of the cliff, probably walked on 150 steps, then have a nice meal, two or three glasses of wine. Oh boy. Now we're going up 150 steps. Oh my gosh. So if you're going to travel, you got to be fit. But if you could climb 60 stairs, about four flights, in less than one minute, your health is great. If it takes longer than 1.5 minutes or a minute and a half, your fitness level needs work. So try it out. Try these out. Try getting up off the floor without using any kind of a push-off. Don't put, put your hand on a table. Don't put your hand on, a, on an arm of a chair. Don't put it on your knee trying to get up. And if you can, do the push-up test, the stair test. It'll tell you how good of shape you are. You're going to be surprised but it'll pay off dividends if you learn how to do these exercises and also buy the book, go to Amazon, pain-free. Describes all the exercises that in time, you should do it every day, but in time, you'll have no pain and you'll have proper Posture therapy. It's amazing. I talked with some of the people in clinics that use this technique. It's amazing how you can get out of pain. Sometimes in a day. But it won't be lasting. So you do it every day until you can get out of pain completely. And then maybe you can just go buy a, a smaller program. Do a smaller program. Or do it less often. But it's a new technique on how to be pain free through exercises. Now, I know many, many people believe that aspirin is essential. Doctors are still prescribing it. Is it any value? What's the story on it now? Well, right now, based on the top researchers in the country, especially the uh, U.S. Preventative Service Task Force, no longer recommend taking aspirin. Sorry, Bayer. The leader of the sales of aspirin. 
Daily use of low dose baby aspirin, about 81 milligrams, I believe, has been routinely recommended for older adults for heart disease prevention for a long, long time. But as I said, the United States Preventative Services Task Force has now officially decided, based on recent studies published over the last three years, that there is basically no benefit for aspirin for preventing heart attacks or strokes in older adults. Should I say that again? This was a study published over the last three years that there is basically no benefit except the buyer because they're the recipient of all the profits. But there's no benefit for aspirin for preventing heart attacks or strokes in older adults. One of the studies they reviewed included almost 20,000 healthy people ages 70 or over. After five years of daily aspirin usage, there was no decrease in risk of heart disease, heart attack, or stroke versus those not taking aspirin. However, there was a 38% increase. Now, get this. For those taking aspirin, there was a 38% increase in the risk of major bleeding for those that were taking aspirin. And, especially, you know, we know that it causes bleeding in the stomach but also especially bleeding in the head and a significantly higher rate of death and a higher rate of cancer-related death. And you can buy a bottle of aspirin that probably has a thousand tablets in it and people are taking this based on research that no longer has any validity. The new research now, done with 20,000 people over the age of 70, even after five years, there was no decrease in the risk of heart disease. None. Zip. Zero. And nothing in heart attacks did not stop heart attacks, did not stop strokes. It has no value. But increases the risk of major bleeding in the stomach. We always knew that. So that's why they wanted a buffered aspirin. But now they find that it causes especially bleeding in the head and a significantly higher rate of death, and a higher rate of cancer-related death. Oh my gosh, friends. Throw it in the toilet. But, as always, talk to your doctor before you make any choices. So what is a better choice for heart disease? Well, we talked a lot about grape seed extract. Now, I want to make it clear that grape seed extract, when I talk about this a lot, grape seed extract, it's a powder. They pulverize the seed and it's put into capsules or tablets. I have so many people say, where do I buy the grapeseed oil? It's not an oil. Don't use grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is high in omega-6 fatty acids that's not healthy for us. Grapeseed oil is not healthy for us. 
This is the powder of the grape seed. This is the whole grape seed. And grape seed extract produces a 6% reduction in high blood pressure levels in men with free hypertension. And clinical studies of 287 people with plaque in the arteries, grape seed group saw a 40% reduction in the plaque forming in the arteries, plaque formation, narrowing the diameter of the arteries so blood goes through a little slower or maybe not at all. Some arteries are blocked entirely, right? They do a bypass surgery, right? Now, this study was an amazing study. There is no drug that I'm aware of that can eliminate the plaque in the artery by up to 40%. Now, this was a one-year study. You can't reduce the plaque overnight. That plaque was probably adhering in the artery for decades. But it was able to reduce the plaque by up to 40% in one year's time. So if you're going to start grapeseed extract, stay on it. And the best dosage for this is around 300 milligrams of grapeseed extract. Now, in this study, they had two groups. One group took the grapeseed extract and reduced the plaque in the artery by up to 40%. Now, the other group took a placebo. And in that same year's time, they increased the plaque in the artery by 30%. So the people that reduced it by 40%, you could say were like 70% ahead. If they did not take the grapeseed extract, they could possibly have increased the plaque by 30%, but they reduced it by 40%. And grapeseed extract reduced blood sugar levels and A1C levels by up to 75%, and returned blood sugar to near normal levels, which was done in an animal model of diabetes. And remember, overall, type 2 diabetes is not a disease. It's a result of eating too much sugar. Eventually, the mechanism breaks down where the insulin regulates and shuttles the sugar into the cell to be burned for energy. But in time, there is so much sugar in the bloodstream that insulin can't handle the process. And the cells become insensitive to insulin and sugar goes out of control. There is an herb called Hintonia, H-I-N-T-O-N-I-A, Hintonia, that regulates blood sugar levels, NA1C. So a person that is struggling with high blood sugar levels, grapeseed extract and Hintonia would be an excellent protocol. Grapeseed extract also provides a 10-point reduction in total cholesterol and a 5-point reduction in the oxidized bad cholesterol levels in patients with mildly elevated cholesterol levels. It's also a mild anticoagulation effects. It does not thin the blood. 
Let me say that again. It does not thin the blood. Not like drugs do. It is called an antiplatelet aggregation. It prevents the cells from coming, becoming sticky where they cling together, forming clots. Grapeseed extract can prevent clotting and reduce the risk of clots, but does not impair normal blood flow or function. Grapeseed extract is another one on my top, what, five, ten, I don't know, I could keep going because there are so many wonderful natural medicines that would put drugs to shame if we we're allowed to say everything about how wonderful these are and how they can actually outperform drugs. So the dosage, around 300 milligrams once or twice daily for reducing the plaque in the arteries, for supporting cardiovascular disease, for preventing heart attacks and strokes, and maybe up to 600 milligrams for some people that are more at a higher risk. For cancer, the research dosage was about 1,200 milligrams. And these were from the French grapeseed, a French grapeseed extract. Much of the grapeseed today, in fact, they've estimated 95% of the grapeseed extract sold in America comes from China. The best grapeseed is from France, where they have the best vineyards. And, the, you know, the seeds were always waste until they found out this huge clinical research, how benefit, beneficial they could be to the health of the body and cardiovascular system. So you can use French grapeseed extract. Look for one that's tannin-free. Or you can combine the French grapeseed extract with pomegranate, another fruit, P5P, which is the biologically active form of vitamin B6, magnesium, and benphotamine, which is a fat-soluble form of B1 for superior heart health. Now, why did I say earlier that processed foods damage the brain? And I'll tell you what, many Americans today are living on processed, refined foods. I don't know how we are able to survive as well as we are. But, you know, one of the critical factors for the brain is DHA for better brain function. And you'll find DHA in the omega-3 fatty acids from fish. So how does processed food affect the brain? Well, in young and old animals that were fed a normal diet or a meal designed to mimic processed foods, high in refined carbohydrates, high in sugar, low in fiber, for just four weeks. No significant changes were observed in the young animals, but the older animals showed a decline in mental brain function. Memory loss. Increased levels of inflammation in the brain. That's not good. The older animals on the processed food diet that also receive omega-3 fatty acids from salmon, also included as DHA, were protected and did not experience memory problems or brain inflammation. There was a very wonderful O omega-3 omega-3 fatty acids from salmon 
and it's from the head of the salmon. The body of the salmon is where all the toxins are, all the contaminants are located in the body of the fish, and all the oil that's in the body of the fish, the fillet, are attached to triglycerides. And they're very unable to increase the absorption effectively of these omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA. But the one salmon extract, it's not an oil. Actually, they're in tablets. Because they're extracted from the head of the salmon, where there are no triglycerides. Remember, we don't want triglycerides. But they're attached to phospholipids. And this type of phospholipids is in every cell in our body, including our brain. And there are five phospholipids in our brain, and there are also five phospholipids in the head of the salmon. And they're in the same exact ratio as the human brain. And studies have shown that this form of omega-3 fatty acid with DHA is absorbed 10 times more effectively than fish oil. Extremely effective for kids, for behavioral problems, for ADD and ADHD, for mental function, learning skills, loss of memory, and reduction of inflammation in the brain. In fact, now they're believing that inflammation of the brain is a major causative factor of Alzheimer's disease. Now, are you struggling with a clogged nose? Maybe a lot of congestion? Are you congested? Well, you can eliminate the mucus and the congestion with essential oils of eucalyptus and myrtle. It it reduces inflammation of the sinuses, helps to reactivate the hair-like compounds that flutter projections inside the sinuses that push mucus and foreign particles out. It thins the mucus so it drains more easily. It has a direct antiviral and antibacterial effect to treat the underlying causes of respiratory congestion. Works quickly. Now this is not an oil that you put in your nose. It's an oil that you take orally. It works extremely effectively and quickly. I would suggest a 320 milligram soft gel capsule of the combination of eucalyptus and myrtle. And I would look for one that is has a special coating on the soft gel that does not break down in the stomach. It goes down into the lower intestines. If it breaks up in the stomach, then it's possible that for some people, you may regurgitate the taste of eucalyptus and myrtle. And eucalyptus has a very strong taste. I love it. Sometimes I just chew soft gel capsules of eucalyptus because it helps the Get rid of all the bacteria in your mouth. It sweetens your mouth. It it has a fragrance alike. It keeps us healthy because it's antibacterial, antiviral, reduces inflammation, has a tremendous effect. So you can do this one to three times a day. So that, my friends, I'm all out of time. Time for me to run, but time for me to be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. So remember our choices. You and I are the only ones that can make us healthy. We are responsible for our health. No one else. It's up to you.
It's up to me. So with that, say a prayer for this crazy, insane world. God bless you, my friends. God bless America. Thank you for listening to Terry Talks Nutrition Weekly Show. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review on your favorite podcast platform, including Apple, Google, and iHeartRadio.